and hello everyone peter here once again with another video for you uh once again as i've you know as i'm prone to do from time to time uh you might notice in this one that lately i have been uh and in this one in particular i have been enjoying a certain amount of liberty in the sketchy wobbly scribbliness of my lines um in times past i have uh, immersed myself and and lost myself in drawing all my lines very slowly and precisely and carefully with very fine tipped pens with with like the zero zero point ones and even zero point zero five tipped pens um, and going you know just very slowly and um, you know losing myself in the details and that's fine uh, but I, I don't know if this is true for every artist but Personally, I go through a lot of phases, and uh, I don't know how long this phase will last, maybe two days. I don't know how long it has lasted already, but um, for this drawing at least, I um, I like doing some scribbly stuff, and I use like the 0.5s and even like 0.7s or 8s, and I go a little bit faster, and I cover a little, more, little bit more ground, and uh, I don't know, it's just different. It's fun to... It's fun to get more ink on the paper a little bit faster. Um, it's easier to follow my gut and, um, you know, my gut, you know, like, or my mind or wherever these drawings are coming from. They're coming from somewhere and leaving, you know, through my fingertips and the pen and going onto the paper. And uh, maybe, maybe the faster I draw, here's one theory. Um, who knows if it's right? Here's one theory. Maybe the faster I draw, the more accurately what I get onto the paper will, will represent what was in my head. I guess the other theory would be that the more carefully I draw, the more the closer it will be. Um, you know, but you know, maybe the faster I draw, the you know I'll I'll get onto the paper before it slips away between you know out of my grasp. You know, like sand between my fingers. Who knows. Um, but but I like drawing this way. I like drawing the other way too, though. I've done that so much. I'm not saying like one way of drawing is better than the other. Or any way of drawing is better than anything else. I just enjoy certain ways of drawing at certain times. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I get really scribbly with this. And another thing that's different about this drawing is I I find that I've I'm learning to get a lot more contrast and value. Um, I've I've learned to darken in a lot more areas. Lots of times I don't want to darken in areas, you know, make them closer to black or actually black because I'm afraid I lose detail, um, you know, because I, I want like lots of little lines, maybe even grouped together closely, but I don't want like actual black because like there's no detail in black, right? But black is a very, um, it's a very useful thing because it makes everything else, you know, pop out. I don't know all the special words, but you can just look at a picture and um and you'll see that it is useful and so i'm i'm uh you know i'm learning i'm just kind of like forcing myself to add it add it into drawings and uh see how it works see how it um see how it all pans out i think you know people always people keep on sending me messages you know like peter how do you decide what to draw when you know how do you do this how do you do this you know that shading this shapes what where when you just got to start drawing, start experimenting, draw shapes, draw shading. Do, do, don't ask me how to do it or if you did it good after it. Look at your own drawing and decide for yourself and then do another drawing. And don't do one drawing and then start asking, you know, for feedback. Or I don't think you should really ever ask for feedback personally, but some people think it's good. I don't, that's a whole nother thing. But anyways, yeah, anyways, uh, I think... The key to improving and being better at art, whatever that means, is to just do it a lot. And I've said that a lot. Um, but it won't feel like like a chore if you enjoy doing it. And if it does feel like a chore, you probably won't do it a lot. Just like my mom used to, you know, try to get me to practice the piano. And uh, I didn't really want to. So I didn't really do it a lot. And to this day, I can't really play the piano that well. I'm sure if I had liked it, I would have practiced it a lot, and I would be good at playing the piano. But I can't. And I didn't. And I can't, so I don't. Or something. Anyways. 
Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.